Uses of the Electroscope A. To detect the presence of charge on a body. The material to be tested is placed on or close to the cap of the electroscope. If it is not charged, the leaf does not diverge. B. To test the sign of charge on a charged body. Charge an electroscope negatively by contact method. Slowly bring a negative rod to be tested close to the cap of the electroscope. The leaf diverges more. It does so because the negative charges on the rod repel more charges from the cap to the plate and the leaf. Similar charges in the plate and the leaf are repelled more. When a strong positively charged rod is brought from high position towards a negatively charged electroscope, the leaf divergence first decreases then increases as the rod approaches the cap. The leaf divergence reduces slightly first because the positive on the rod attract negative charges on the leaf and plate, making the electroscope neutral. On moving the rod, much lower, the leaf divergence increases again to higher position. This is because the strong positively charged rod attracts more electrons from the plate and leaf, making them more positive. Hence, they repel further. Note. The same observations are made when a negatively charged rod is brought towards a positively charged electroscope. On moving a neutral conductor close to a charged electroscope, leaf divergence decreases. Charges on the electroscope induce opposite charges on the conductor. An increase in divergence of the leaf is therefore the only sure way of confirming the kind of charge on a body. C. To test the quantity of charge on a charged body. Small bodies have few charges compared to big ones of the same kind.